Hi, it's Pam Triolo, and welcome to our new edition of the Food Lady TV Show. I've got a guest host with me today for a very special episode entitled Tasty Tapas and Small Bites. You know what, Pam, the, the world's finally coming down to my level. Every, <laughs> everything is small these days. Tiny homes, small bites, small <laughs> plates. You know, everything is my size. Boy, am I glad to be here on this show because this show pays big dividends. Not only do I get a chance to hang out with you, but at the end of the show, I get to taste the end result of what you're getting ready to see. Oh, I know it's so exciting too, and I love having him here. So he's gonna be my special host throughout the show today. So I hope you enjoy it, and I hope you're hungry, because these small bites are pretty darn big time, would you say? I would say so, I'm looking forward to it. You won't wanna miss a second. Okay, don't go nowhere. The Food Lady is brought to you thanks to the support of these fine sponsors. When you're in the mood for tapas in West Palm Beach, there's really only one place you think of right away, and that's Table 26. It's just over the bridge from the island of Palm Beach. It's just south of Okeechobee, north of Belvedere, east side of Dixie Highway. And I'll tell you right now, you will not forget it. here inside the Table 26 kitchen with the executive chef, Martha, who makes everything work around here. We're so happy to be Thank here. Thank you. So happy to have you here. Thank you for coming. Now, a lot of our viewers have said, if you're into the small bites, you have to come here and you have to try the cauliflower. Please. I will do some samples of it. Okay. So now, what makes it so special? I think it's the way where we bread it. It's a washed fresh cauliflower from okay. Florida, it's fresh produce. Beautiful. Always in season, so we can try some of this. Finish it up with honey buffalo, okay. housemate also. This is what? Uh, buffalo, buffalo sauce. Buffalo sauce. Yeah. Wow, so now what are you gonna do with these? You're gonna put them into I, the I deep fryer? I'm gonna fry it, deep fry it a little. Okay, so. and then when you come back, we'll mix it up. Please, okay? Okay, let's do it. Let's, let's do it. That's it? That's it, that's very simple. That's how easy we can make this one at home, guys. And if she gives me amazing. the secret ingredient. <laughs> we share with everyone. All right. Nothing keeps in secret. Good. Thank you. That looks beautiful, Martha. Your pieces. All right. You got a fork around here? This is, that's it. Let me see. All right, kids, going in. Here we go. Oh, that's good buffalo sauce. What do you think it is? Nice vinegar, nice vinegar. in there. Nice heat. Nice I like and this smooth. way. How you dip it in? There you go. It's good stuff. The drink is delicious. Grapefruit and agave martini. It's just delicious. Um, and for dinner, I had the horseradish crusted salmon. And it was so, so delicious. She finished her plate. We've been married for 28 years. This is the first time she's ever completed her entire plate. Table 26 is one of the hottest places in West Palm Beach. Everybody who's anybody comes here. It's just south of downtown West Palm Beach, actually between Okeechobee and Belvedere Road, and it is hot. And the tapas here, the small bites are perfection, thanks to the brainchild here of these two gentlemen, Eddie and Ozzy. Everyone knows these guys, right? That's right, we hope so. I hope so too. <laughs> hey gentlemen. Cheers, Pam, welcome. Chef has made us some fabulous tapas that we're just about to enjoy. Now, some of these that I didn't talk about earlier were the arancini. I'm a huge fan of arancini. Now, it's got a little something something inside there. There's a little bit of mozzarella inside. That's the way it happens. Now, this? Our lobster mac and cheese, one of our signature dishes. Ooh. Been on the menu, but this is our small bites for happy hour, but we also have it as dinner. Our firecracker shrimp, a little Ooh. bit of spice. Great with any margarita or any sort of spicy drink during our happy hour. Our tuna poke bowl, okay. uh, which is just new on the menu by Chef Marta, so we're very excited by having that with rice on the bottom and the sauce. And our buffalo cauliflower. Uh, again, a little bit of spice, which always works great. 
I already ate that. sitting around enjoying happy hour. I already ate that in the kitchen. You did? Yeah, she made me eat it that much. Good. Thank you. Well, cheers. cheers. It's a great health, great food, and great friends. Thank you. Cheers. Don't touch that dial, because when we come back, we're going to have some more tasty tapas and small bites, right? That's me. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, my name is Larry Rowe. I'm with LB Rowe Pools. I've been in business in West Palm Beach for over 30 years. Here's a few of our designs. So when you hire LB Rowe, you hire us. It's our employees, our trucks, our guys. We can do anything on your property from GC work to your pool work, all tied in with one contractor. So if you're thinking about building a new pool or renovating your old one, give us a call at LB Rowe. You'll be glad you did. Are you looking to sell your home fast? Why put money into costly upgrades when you can get the money you need now? At Cora Lawson Realtor, we specialize in quick closings, no inspections, and no commissions. We'll get you a fair cash offer fast. Since 1985, we've been helping neighbors buy and sell here in South Florida, and we want to help you now. Call Norman Lawson at 561-253-4968 if you're ready to buy or sell today. If you or a loved one is injured in an accident, do you know if your insurance will cover it? Too many people are confused about insurance. Even if you have full coverage, it may not be the right protection. Here in South Florida, it's essential that you carry uninsured motorist coverage on your policy, or you could be left footing the bill alone. Knowledge is your best defense, and so are we. Call the law firm of Treas and Bickler today and take our insurance checkup at tbinjurylaw.com. I work at the Palm Beach County Club. I love my job, and I love the people I work with. We're family. We care about each other. And we care about our community. We believe in giving back. And getting involved. Because we know that people are what matters most. I am. I am. I am. I am Palm Beach County Club. We're tasting tapas all over the Palm Beaches, and let me tell you right now, we gotta make one more stop in Palm Beach Gardens because everyone says Salute Restaurant and Market is tops when it comes to tapas. All right, Executive Chef Nicholas, how are you? Doing well, how are you? Food lady in the kitchen, ready to get cooking. Perfect, perfect. What do we need to do? Uh, we're going to get our pan nice and hot, and then we're going to take our marinated artichokes and I just give them a nice them. hard sear. I love them. All right, let's get started. There is nothing like artichokes. Whether it's the leaves themselves, the hearts, whatever it is, I'll eat an artichoke any which way. Uh, Are we going to actually do this today? Simple? Yep, nice and simple. Keep it nice and clean. We have our nice pan sear, and then we're going to hit it with a little breadcrumb some fresh parsley, some uh, Parmesan, and then our house-made uh, chili oil. Is that more of that chili oil? Absolutely. Yeah, bring it on. And there she is. All right. The warm artichokes at Salute Manja. Sometimes I just love my job. And I saw Alessandra <laughs> sitting here by herself, ready to indulge on these magnificent bacon wrap dates. And I said, is anyone sitting with you? And she said, of course not. Come and join. And she poured me some wine. <laughs> the biggest wine glasses in town. I Cheers. Love it. Cheers. <laughs> and we're going to enjoy these beautiful dates. Why do you come here? I, you know, I've been coming here for years, and I love this place. It is family owned, and everything about it is family. The love that goes into the food, the clients, the customers, me, I get to personally know them and have a great time with them, eat their food, and I couldn't enjoy it anymore. Lexi from Lake Worth says the blind monk in West Palm Beach has the most amazing watermelon banh mi. Let's see if she's right. Hey! Hello, how are you? Good. Well, 
Welcome, welcome. I'm the food lady. I'm Jason Hunt. I'm the general manager of The Blind Monk. Well, I love this place. I've been well, here thank before. thank you so much. But I'm so glad to be back again because Lexi from Lake Worth says you have the most amazing watermelon banh mi. We do, we do. That is a unique creation here. It's inspired by a traditional Korean banh mi, which features pork and pate. Well, we've subbed those out to do kind of a fresh seasonal fruit-based dish. We use seared watermelon, a little salt and pepper on the outside, seared on the stove, takes on some meaty characteristics with that caramelization, do a little feta cheese on top with uh, pickled daikon carrots, fresh cucumber jalapeno and cilantro, makes an excellent combination of flavors there. So this is it? This is the finished product here. This I is never a, thought I would be eating a watermelon bond me in my life, but I've got to try it. Mm. You get all these nice little layers of flavors here, and you can even see all the different mm. little multicolored here, but you get the sweet, the salty, the spicy, the spicy from the jalapeno there oh. too. That is very, very layered in flavor. Cucumber? Nice savor. Mm -hmm. A little cucumber here too, mm. gives a nice freshness. Oh guys, if you've never had it, you must. Two thumbs up. You won't want to miss a second of The Food Lady, so don't touch that dial. Take a look at our sponsors. They help us bring the show to you fresh and new, all new places each and every month. So Pam can afford to eat every week. Exactly. <laughs> Looking for an authentic Japanese steakhouse? Welcome to Saito's. Enjoy Saito's specialty sushi rolls, like their signature city place roll, featuring spicy tuna, pineapple, and avocado. Saito's also offers the best dinner on a show. Whether you enjoy surf or turf, there's something for everyone and it's always a lot of fun. Saito's Japanese Steakhouse, Hibachi and Sushi. Now with six locations to choose from. Enjoy dinner and a show today. <laughs> oh look, a falling star. Gons Collision Center. Find us at gonscollision.com. An accident happens in the blink of an eye, but it can change your life forever. After an accident, there's not only your physical pain, but the stress of medical bills, damage to your vehicle, and phone calls from insurance companies, and in the most severe cases, the loss of a loved one. At Treyas and Bickler, the only thing we want you to focus on is you. Let us handle all the details to help put your life back together with confidence and compassion. It's your life. Let us help you protect it. If you've been injured in an accident, call the law firm of Treyas & Bickler today. For over 30 years, there's been only one place in Palm Beach County serving up the most authentic Maryland-style blue crabs. Riggins Crab House. Whether you want them steamed in beer and J.O. spice or smothered in garlic and oil, whether you want just a few or all you can eat, Chef Gino's got you covered. Plus, there's Dungeness, Snow, King Crab, and Stone Crab in season, and the fresh catch of the day to live Maine Lobster. Come see why people travel near and far to Riggins, the area's only authentic Maryland-style crab house. Hey, it's Pam Triolo, the food lady, and we are in the kitchen, in my kitchen to be exact, and I've got my special guest on the show today, Greg Rice, and uh, we're gonna mix up something really special. Uh, we're talking tasty tapas and small bites. So. Oh, small bites, one of my favorite things. <laughs> you know that. So let's get started. What do you okay, say? what do we start with? We're gonna start with um, probably about 12 ounces of mushrooms. And I like a mixture of them, and one of the things that I must have in them are shiitake mushrooms. Shiitake, yeah. And I use baby bellas. Um, we've got some oyster mushrooms in there, but you can use any kind that you want. You can use criminy. Right. Are also really good too. But you, the shiitake, now when I say when they say wild mushrooms, is there such a thing as a tame mushroom? I don't think so. Okay, well, <laughs> I don't think there are any tame mushrooms. We need this yet? Um, you know what? Yeah. What we're gonna do is we're gonna chop up some of these mushrooms. Okay. I'm telling you, it is. Because we've got to get that bread in the oven. Oh, we toast it first? Toast it for four minutes or so. Okay. All right, we're going to toast it in the oven, and then we're going to saute all of this on the stove top, easy peasy, in one, one skillet. Okay. Ooh, what's the temperature here? 
It is 350. 350. Come on in. Okay, guys. Do your thing. Right on Make top. us proud. Okay, what I've done is I put three tablespoons of butter into our pan, and I've got it up nice and high on medium to high heat. And then we're going to add our mushrooms. Now, the key to mushrooms is if you want to cook them through all the way, you really have to let them stay for a bit because you want to sweat out all the moisture. Mushrooms have a lot of moisture in them, and you want to make sure that you get them down to the point where they actually start to brown and they're cooked solid through. Okay, as you can see right now, all the moisture is pretty much out. It was wet in the bottom and now it's starting to dry out. And we're gonna add more liquid, which is our half a cup of heavy whipping cream. Just pour it right in and continue to cook it on medium to medium high. And see how it starts to boil there? It's not like Pam to not put garlic in everything. She puts garlic in vanilla milkshakes. Anyhow, you Pam, stop. you forgot to put the garlic I in. I did. I snuck it in when you weren't looking. I'm going to turn this off completely. And we're going to put the prosciutto and we're going to put the blue cheese in while it's off the flame. Which goes first? Put the blue cheese in first. The, oh, the blue cheese. Yep. Crumbly blue cheese. It's crumbled. It's about two. How much? Two to two and a half pounds. Put it all in. Oh, all in. Okay. All in, baby. This is cheesy. And it really absorbs, look at you. <laughs> it really absorbs, you know, with the cream and the mushrooms are just a perfect complement to blue cheese too. You know, one day we'll have smell of vision I know. And the folks at home will be able to smell what we're smelling right now. I love this it's smell. It's incredible. It's like one of my favorite smells. That and butters, what is it, uh, onions cooking in butter. And yes. I like the smell of burnt toast even. Really? Oh, that's interesting. I don't, I don't know why. <laughs> You're crazy. I am. Everybody knows that. Yeah. You've seen my commercials. I have seen your commercials. This is the consistency we're looking for. Well, that looks great. Right? And the one thing that we're missing now is prosciutto. So let's get that in. Prosciutto. All in, too? All in. Okay, guys. For us bacon lovers. Yeah, you got to put that in there. I chopped it up. It's nice, thin prosciutto. It's Italian prosciutto. And uh, I've chopped it up real small and fine. You can get prosciutto at just about any grocery store, is that yeah, right? Yeah, pretty much so. You can get it by the fine meats, so where the uh, lunch and deli meats are, right. or the specialty cheeses. It's kind of in that section. Yeah. And uh, it's becoming common, but it's not toasted or anything. It's no. just you know, cured right out of the thing. Right. Now we're ready. The only thing we have to do for this, which is great for parties, is we've made this ahead of time. Sure. So we're going to put this in the refrigerator for an hour. Okay. All right? And what we're going to do is it'll be nice and firm, and we're gonna spoon it on top of our bruschetta, onto Ooh, our yeah. bread, and then we're gonna toast it in the oven a little while longer. So mm. this is gonna go into the fridge. Let's go. Let's do it. After your mixture sat in the fridge for about an hour, right. we're gonna use a tablespoon, and we're gonna put about a tablespoon, depending on the size of each little piece. Mm -hmm. You can cut the bread whatever way you want. And we're just gonna pop these back into the oven to just heat the mixture. And then I'll have you do the honors of topping them off with a little fresh Italian parsley. Ooh, when absolutely. Well, I was going to say, if I sat in the refrigerator for about an hour, <laughs> I would need more than a few minutes in the oven. And this made, this made about 18. Right. So you've got about 18 pieces here, and I still have a little bit left. You, so know, it, you could probably do this even for like a tailgating kind of situation, oh, couldn't you? Perfect. Yeah. yeah, exactly. If you have anything like a hot pan or you have one of those Wilton Armital type of trays mm -hmm. that keeps things hot if they're mm -hmm. hot and cold if they're cold, that's really the best way to do it. Some people have those little serving pans that have sternos on the bottom oh, yeah. or whatever. Keep them. They really are best when they're warm. Oh, absolutely. Once that bread gets cold, you know what happens. I know. So we're going to keep it. Make sure it's warm. I'm going in the oven for another four minutes or so. Keep an eye on them. You don't want them to burn. Don't go nowhere. You're going to want I wouldn't miss this. There we go. About four or five minutes, but keep an eye on them. All right, Greg, I think we're done. All right, can't wait. Oh, they look good. Oh, look at that. Oh, they're sizzling. Sizzling, sizzling, sizzling. And the only thing left to do, my friend, yes. is to garnish it with a little bit of our fresh Italian parsley. Should I have the honors in? Please. Finely chopped. Oh, look at that. See, it's, it's got to not only, again, if we had smell o vision you would totally uh, you folks be in heaven don't know right what now. You're it is just so, and again, this isn't for the faint of heart because it's got a lot of fat in it. <laughs> Good job. All right. You ready to try these out? I am. I've been ready for a whole half hour. Now. All right. Here we go. They're hot. Yes, they are. Ooh. Ooh. Ooh, those babies. I, I forgot that. 
I think these garnish are mine. There you go. Ready? I don't know if we can eat these. They're really hot. Uh, I don't, <laughs> I don't, you, you, you go first. <laughs> Let me try that small. Mm. Let me tell you what, folks. If you serve the, or you make this recipe at home, serve it at one of your parties, the football parties or whatever, you'll be more popular than Rick Saban in Alabama. You will be the head of, a, of the ball. Cheers. Cheers to it. <laughs>30 years, there's been only one place in Palm Beach County serving up the most authentic Maryland-style blue crabs. Riggins Crab House. Whether you want them steamed in beer and J.O. spice or smothered in garlic and oil, whether you want just a few or all you can eat, Chef Gino's got you covered. Plus, there's Dungeness Snow King Crab and Stone Crab in season, and the fresh catch of the day to live Maine Lobster. Come see why people travel near and far to Riggins, the area's only authentic Maryland-style crab house. Our search for the perfect tapas continues with an old friend in a new location. Now, you may know the Avocado Grill in downtown West Palm Beach, but have you seen their new location downtown at the Gardens? Oh, Chef Brad's in the kitchen, and we're going to get down to cooking some tuna pokey. Chef Brad, and he's the king in the kitchen here at the beautiful Avocado Grill. This place is enormous here in Palm Beach Gardens. It's downtown at the Gardens. Downtown at the Gardens, That's exactly where right it is. Right by the carousel, you won't miss it. We're going to do all the building of the tuna inside this little bowl here. So we're going to start with our base, which is our sticky rice. Mm -hmm. And that looks good. yeah, it's super fresh. Use a little bit of water, which helps uh, keep the stickiness away. So just put so that. So you can get it into the mold. We're going to mold that in the bottom. Perfect. Okay, so we're gonna leave we're gonna leave our mold there. All right. We're gonna come to the tuna, the 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 MVP of the dish, right? So we're gonna take a little bit of fresh ginger, fresh chopped ginger. I love ginger. I love ginger too. <laughs> You're gonna have plenty. Okay, of that. a little bit of uh, some sliced uh, red onion. I like that too. Just a little bit. I like everything. That's we're gonna take a, a pinch <laughs> of cilantro, chopped cilantro. I like that too. And we're gonna use our ponzu juice. Again, this is. Uh, we make this in-house. It's just yuzu, soy, and a little bit of honey. Yours is so good. I've tried to make this a million times, and for some reason it doesn't taste I, like I, yours. It's, it's, the balance, it's the balance between if you use yuzu, or you could use citrus, you could use lemon and lime juice I've if you wanted to. I've tried that too. But the, it's the balance between that and the honey. You're like my mom, though. You're probably leaving out one ingredient, so it doesn't taste no, exactly I'm, like... No, that's pretty much, that's that's pretty it? much it, I promise. All right. <laughs> 
But again, it's just the balance because because the the citrus is so is and, and the soy sauce is so salty. Right. You need something to counter that. That's where the honey comes in. So. Okay. Okay, so we've got the uh, so yeah, it's just super fresh, right? Yeah. So we've got our tuna all mixed up. We're just gonna pile this on top of our on top of our rice. Okay. It's so fresh. It looks like watermelon. Yeah. <laughs> we actually do a watermelon pokey here. Do so you it's really? actually an option. It's an option. I know it's that. It's an option for uh, for all of our pokey bowls. That's perfect. So we kind of just press that really, really lightly. And we're going to lift this guy off. It comes off. A magic moment. Yay! Okay. Pretty good. Not too shabby. Not too shabby. And then all we're going to do to dress the top of this, we're going to take a little bit of just shredded carrot. Mm -hmm. We're going to take a touch of sesame seeds. A little bit more of our ponzu, just as like uh, our salad dressing mix, right? Mm -hmm. Mix that real lightly. Okay. Use our fingers. You gotta that, use your fingers. That goes on top. And then we'll take a, just, this is a little bit of our spicy mayo. It's, uh, it's a mayo based, mayo based aioli. Uh, it's got a little bit of sambal in it, a little bit of soy, and a little bit of sesame. I, you could, okay. you could eat this with anything, to be honest. Mmm, it's got just the right spice. Ooh. Little, yeah, sweet, sweet, a little sweet and spicy too. Ooh, it hits you with that hot and then it hits right. you with the sweet with right the after. sweetness, yeah. I love that. Okay, just a little more cilantro and then... Uh, that's it. And that's it. All right, let's give it a try here, kids. I can't wait to get my hands, my mouth on that ponzu. Okay, it's beautiful. Wow. It's really good. Love this place, very convenient. Love the, the ambiance, great bar atmosphere, and especially the, the small plates of tapas kind of feel to it. It combines like a casual elegance with upscale ambiance. It's perfect for a lunch, for a quick happy hour, nice dinner, it's, it's perfect for everything. Thank you so much for watching The Food Lady, and thank you, Greg Race, for joining us oh, on the program. Thank you for having me again. I would have you every time, maybe. Well, I tell you. <laughs> but for our tasty toppers and small bites, boy, did we win big, didn't we? Well, and, and I, the end result, absolutely fantastic. I know, I think we have to go back for some more of that mushroom bruschetta. Is there any left? Yeah, there's a couple of That hungry left. crew that you got back behind that camera back there, I'm surprised there is anything left. Oh, I know. You know what? We have to thank a couple of people, though, too. I want to do... Well, really, let's tell them thanks. We want to thank all the great restaurants on today's show, all of our great chefs, and we want to thank all of our amazing sponsors. Remember, you should definitely visit our sponsors and call them up if you need any of their services because they help us bring you a new show each and every month, and we're so very grateful. But most of all, we're also grateful for you. Keep watching and keep joining us, right? Tell your friends. Coming up on the show, we're going to have some tasty... <laughs> I forgot what I was to say. <laughs> Sorry. Toppers. Toppers. Tasty toppers. <laughs> it's, it's, it's the one. <laughs> well, hold on. What am I going to say? <laughs> <laughs> she was just here to eat and drink. We didn't need to talk. Parsley between your teeth. <laughs> yes, that's something in my nose. No, I want to know. Stop doing that. Whenever you touch your nose, then I touch my nose. Oh, double <laughs> dipping. That's right. Hey, he got two, I only got one. Come on. Oh, man. She's <laughs> a class act. <laughs> <laughs> Our big, 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 big.